All right, acceleration, deceleration. Go ahead and get this cut out. Cut out the borders, cut out every box. Acceleration, when I say accelerate, what do you think of? What do you think? Faster. Speed. Faster? Okay, speed. What else do you think of? What about, what about decelerate? Slow. Stopping. Slow stopping. I like that one, stopping. Okay? Accelerate and decelerate. Now compare that to what we were talking about yesterday when we were talking about velocities. Think about constant velocity. How is that different from accelerate or decelerate? Because you're going at the same speed. Okay. Acceleration can go higher and higher. All right. I like it. So with acceleration and deceleration, we are talking not about a constant velocity, but we are talking about changing velocity. Okay, we're talking about a situation where the velocity is changing and we want to know how fast or how slowly that velocity is changing. It's either increasing, which would be acceleration, or the velocity is decreasing, which would be deceleration. Okay, two very similar concepts, actually almost exactly the same thing, just kind of the opposites. All right, find the two pieces of paper that have bullet notes on them. Okay, look those over and read them. At the top of your page, the right, write acceleration. Sorry, on the left, acceleration. On the right, deceleration. Okay? And figure out which one's which. Which papers describing, which bullet points describe acceleration, which bullet points describe deceleration? Okay, to speed up, to go faster and faster and faster, which one is that? Acceleration. Go ahead and glue underneath there. Just need a little bit of glue. So to slow down, to go slower and slower and slow, that's deceleration. To go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, that's acceleration. Okay? Now, if you notice, both of them, the last bullet point's the same. The rate of change of velocity. That's actually like the scientific definition, the fancy formal physics definition, the rate of change of velocity. So how quickly the velocity is changing. Okay? Take this long strip. This is, uses the same formula. Go ahead and cut the extra white off at the end of the paper. Okay, so acceleration and deceleration, they use the same formula, all right? Little note here in right, deceleration, right? Deceleration is negative acceleration. Okay? So if the acceleration value is negative, then we're actually talking about deceleration. And physicists, genuine physicist nerds, they won't say, oh, it's decelerating. They'll say, it has a negative acceleration. Okay? They're really weird about that. But go ahead and glue that piece of paper underneath there. Negative acceleration just means you're decelerating. Okay? We use the same formula. It just has a negative value. And what that really means is that when we're talking about the final velocity that we measure, it's actually slower than the initial velocity, which will make sense what we, once we talk about the formula here. Okay? So below that, we're going to write in the formula in words. Acceleration equals, and then you're going to do parentheses, final velocity minus initial velocity close parentheses divided by change in time okay Acceleration equals the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the change in time.
Okay? Give yourself about two, three lines of space there. Now go, give yourself three lines of space. And then write, we're going to write the formula and symbols. So A equals parentheses V for velocity and then a subscript F, a little F kind of halfway below there for final. Minus V and then a little I subscript there. Close the parentheses and then divide and underneath that put a delta T, that triangle <laughs> delta T. What? What did it say? A equals what? Oh. That's supposed to that's that's an F right there. Okay. Now, all the little pieces of paper. Find the one that says final velocity. Okay? Little bit of glue on it. And you're going to glue it above this formula and a little bit to the left. Okay? Final velocity, symbol for that is V with a little subscript F is the ending velocity or the last velocity. So we're talking about an object that's moving, we're trying to calculate acceleration. The last velocity of that object that we measure, that's going to be our final velocity. Okay? So you can draw a little arrow to that. Now I got a question for you guys. What are the units of measure for <laughs> velocity? <coughs> Not the formula, what's the, what are the units of measure? So is it measured in degrees, is it measured in, what is it measured in? Meters per second. Meters per second or kilometers per hour when we're dealing with acceleration, we're only going to do meters per second in this class. Okay? So meters per second are the units for final, for, for velocity. Okay? Now find a little piece of paper that says initial velocity. Little bit of glue. And glue that in to the right on the side there. So initial velocity, okay, that's this one right here. It's the starting velocity or the first velocity. Initial means the beginning. Okay? So initial velocity, what would be the units of measure for initial velocity? Same thing as the final velocity, meters per second. Okay? It can be kilometers per hour, but when we're dealing with acceleration, we just keep it simple, meters per second. Okay? All right. Change in time. Put a little bit of glue on that piece of paper. Just a little bit. Okay? Glue that down <coughs> below and to the right of the formula. Okay, so that that triangle with the T, all right, that's change in time. Okay, the change in time is how much time it took, or the total time. So the amount of time it took for the object to go from that initial velocity to the final velocity, that is the change in time. What will be my units for that? Units of measure for time? Seconds. Tick tock, tick tock. Time measured in seconds. Okay. Now I want to put a little note here, right below this. Draw the triangle. Okay. Nope. Just that little triangle that's in front of the T there. Write delta. Okay. This is from the Greek alphabet. This is a letter in the Greek alphabet. Delta. Okay. We're using, we use it in the math and science um, to mean change in, okay? So a delta T is a change in time. You can see a delta V, change in velocity. It's just how much that variable changed. So how much did the time change? How much time passed, okay? 
That's basically what it's asking. Don't really emphasize that a lot in this physics class, but you'll definitely need to know that if you go on to college physics. Okay? All right. Last variable we have here is the A, acceleration. And what you need to know about acceleration are the units of measure. Okay? Get that little piece of paper. Glue it in. The units of measure for acceleration are meters per second squared. Okay? Now, that literally means meters, okay, per second per second, but to make it easier to write it, we just write meters per second squared. Okay? That squared right there doesn't actually affect any of the math. It's just part of the units. Okay? It's not part of the formula. It's just part of the units. So that's what you really need to know about acceleration and deceleration. Okay? However, there's still one more piece of paper that you cut out. Okay? This is an, a valuable formula, and I want to introduce it to you now, even though we're not going to use it now. So in your notes, draw yourself like a little squiggly line there. Okay, to separate this from the rest of the notes. This is another formula we use when we're dealing with acceleration. I'm not going to quiz you on it. It might be an extra credit question, but I'm not going to quiz you on it. Okay? At least not yet, not until we get into projectiles. Okay? But I want, to get, I want you to see it now. So, delta D... Very good. What does delta D mean? It means displacement. Okay? So, in this formula. This formula, we use it when we know what the acceleration is, but we want to know how far the object moved. Okay? If we want to know how far an object moves and we know what its acceleration is, this is what formula we're going to use. Okay, so displacement, what are the units of measure for displacement? Meters. All right, meters. So displacement, in case you forgot, this is like the how far, okay, how far something travels or something moves, and it's me measured in meters, okay? VI, what's VI? We just did it. Initial velocity. Units of measure for velocity? Meters per, Meters per second. Okay. We have here delta T, and it's actually in the formula twice. Okay, delta T is in that formula twice. All right, change in time. Okay, so the or the time traveled. What are my units of measure for that? Seconds. Seconds. Okay. Now notice a little detail here. That's a squared. This right here in the formula, it's squared. That's probably the one most common um, algebraic mistake is to forget to square that. So if you use this formula, don't forget the square. All right. And the last variable here, the A. The acceleration. And units of measure for acceleration? Meters per second squared. Very good. Meters per second squared. Okay? So, you know what all of those variables mean. You just got to plug them in to get the answer you're looking for. Okay? So, if you know the rate at which an object is accelerating, you know its initial velocity, and you know how long it's traveling, you can figure out how far it goes. 